I got to know Seward and uh, really learned a lot more about his work. Most importantly, that I was familiar with his work and I had no idea the work was by him. To go to the uh, grounds for sculpture and see um, the body of work that he's amassed over the past 40 years, over 450 sculptures globally, um, it was really, really inspiring. And so I was there and walking through the grounds and all these sculptures are set in the botanical garden. Each sculpture has this environment that's so transformative. I guess I'm always hearing music. I've always been that way. And looking at these scenes frozen in time, um, it reminded me almost of a theater piece. These sculptures are many, they're all of realism style. So individuals kind of doing this one action and they're frozen in that one moment. I think I always thought that if you hit play in that scene and it were to unfold, what would the music be behind that? that scene. And so that's where this idea for sounds for sculpture really began. Each sculpture is so different. Each sculpture tells such a distinct story. I could hear a different and distinct song to go along with each sculpture. And uh, that's where the idea was born. She wept. Our secrets count. I love that with the music being all original compositions, I love that they have, that an audience has a perspective uh, or some sort of context to where that original song uh, comes from. So by them being able to see uh, an image of the sculpture or seeing a sculpture there actually in person, um, when they hear the song, they have a perspective that often only the composer of the song has but now you're putting that for them to see, experience, and interpret their own version of what that musical underscore provides. I hope people take away the idea that art can inspire art, that can continue to inspire art.